Point clouds and meshes can be imported and pinned to solve photos. See the Imported Point Cloud Ray Pinning video for a step-by-step -step on how to pin imports. In this first example, a phone camera captured this single image of a vehicle parked on a street. The goal of the project is to determine the location and distance of the vehicle from the intersection. This was accomplished by first creating a standard photomodeler multi-photo project of the area. Note, the vehicle was no longer in place. The calibrated photos were used to solve 3D points that were then used as control points to solve the single photo from the phone. With the single iPhone photo now solved, a laser scan of the car was imported and pinned to four rays marked on the phone photo. Choose locations spread across the object and include some at different depths and heights. The alignment can be seen by toggling the point cloud visibility. The other photos were taken at a different time, so the vehicle is not visible. However, its location can be visualized by turning on the point cloud visibility. A cylinder was used to mark the stop sign pole. The distance between it and the aligned point cloud can be seen in the 3D viewer. This data can also be exported to CAD. In the second example, importing and pinning a marine canvas design is demonstrated. Photos were used to measure a boat in Photomodeler, and the results were exported. These measurements were used in a CAD package to design a canvas cover enclosure. The CAD design is exported and then loaded into the original Photomodeler project as a pinned import. The project's coordinate system is defined using a scale rotate translate transform. If the import mesh's coordinate system was the same as the project's, the canvas would line up without additional work. Here, the design was done in a different coordinate system, so the import can be aligned by either pinning or using manual controls. The rotation is done in local coordinates. The translation can be done in either world or local coordinates. These edit fields are always world coordinates. The changes can also be seen in photos. Click or hold the arrow buttons for fine adjustments. In the third and last example, vehicle speed and distance estimation is demonstrated. The scan was aligned with the single photo using multiple light rays. The option to copy and create a secondary cloud allows the cloud to be positioned at a second location without needing to import a second copy. The extracted pin locations can optionally be copied with a secondary mesh, but their assigned points or rays will not be copied, allowing you to pin it in a new location. The secondary cloud is not pinned, but it is placed in an identical location using a transform. The transform can be adjusted using the manual controls. We put the original cloud in a layer and hide it.
Switch to a different frame in the image sequence and align the secondary copy. The point cloud's relative positions can be seen in the 3D view. The measure pane can be used to find the distance between the cloud centers. With these three projects, the video demonstrates various ways that pinned imported clouds and meshes can be used. If you have questions about other possibilities, please contact us.